ever wondered how trains work? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey into the marvelous world of trains. Trains are more than just big, powerful machines on wheels. They're like the superheroes of transportation, carrying people and goods across towns, cities and countries, day in and day out. Imagine a world without trains. It would be like a superhero movie without superheroes. Not nearly as fun or exciting, right? There are all sorts of trains out there. Some are sleek and fast, zooming down the tracks like the Flash. Others are strong and sturdy, hauling heavy loads like the Incredible Hulk. And they all have one thing in common. They run on tracks, like a superhero following their path of duty. Understanding how trains work is like unraveling the secrets behind a superhero's powers. So, are you ready to dive into the exciting world of trains? At the heart of every train is the engine, but do you know what it does? Let's find out. The engine is like the heart of a train. Just like your heart pumps blood around your body, the engine powers the train, making it move forward or backward. It's the big boss of the train, deciding how fast it goes, when it stops, and when it starts again. Isn't that neat? Now let's talk about the different types of train engines. First, we have the steam engine. These are the grandpas of train engines. They were used in the olden days. A steam engine works by burning coal or wood in a furnace to heat water in a boiler. This creates steam, which pushes a piston back and forth. And this movement is what drives the train. It's like a giant kettle on wheels. Next up, we have diesel engines. These are more modern, and you'll see them a lot today. Diesel engines work by burning diesel fuel to create a powerful explosion that pushes a piston. This piston then turns a crankshaft, which drives the wheels of the train. It's like having a miniature volcano under the hood. Lastly, we have electric engines. These are the newest kids on the block. Electric engines use electricity to create magnetic fields, which push and pull on magnets attached to the train's wheels, making them spin and move the train along. It's a lot like magic, isn't it? So whether it's a steam, diesel or electric engine, each one plays a crucial role in powering the train and helping it on its journey. They might be different, but they all have the same goal, to take the train from one place to another, carrying people or goods along the way. So, the next time you see a train chugging along, remember, at its heart is an engine, working hard and doing its job. And just like superheroes have different powers, each type of engine has its own unique way of making the train move. So, the engine is like the train's superhero helping it to go on its journey. Trains can be really long. Have you ever counted how many carriages a train has? If you haven't, then here's a little fun fact for you. Some trains can have over 100 carriages. That's right, over 100. It's like a long and winding caterpillar on tracks, isn't it? Now these carriages aren't just there to make the train look long and impressive. Oh no, they have a very important job. They are the heart and soul of the train, carrying passengers or goods from one place to another. Pretty cool, right? So, how do these carriages connect to the engine, you ask? Well, it's a bit like how you would link your toy train carriages together. They use something called a coupler, which is like a big strong metal hook. This hook attaches the carriages to each other and to the engine, keeping everything together as the train chugs along its journey. But it's not all about the outside. Inside these carriages is where the real magic happens. They are designed for comfort and safety, making sure everyone and everything inside is snug and secure. Passenger carriages have comfy seats, sometimes tables and even beds for those long journeys. And for goods, well, they get a safe and secure space too so nothing gets lost or damaged on the way. And here's another cool thing, some carriages are like chameleons, changing their purpose depending on what's needed. One day they might be carrying people, and the next day they could be full of goods. Isn't that awesome? So next time you see a train, think about all the hard work those carriages are doing, carrying people and goods and keeping everything safe and sound. And remember, they're not just a bunch of boxes on wheels, they're an important part of the train's journey. Next time you're on a train, try to count the carriages. And don't forget to think about all the amazing things happening inside each one. Trains always run on tracks, but do you know why? Imagine being a superhero who can only fly in a straight line, or a bird that can only swim but not fly. It would be a bit tricky, wouldn't it? Well, trains are a little bit like that superhero or that bird. They are incredibly powerful, but they need a little bit of help to know where to go. That's where tracks come in. You see, tracks are like the train's very own superhighway, specially designed just for them. They are a bit like the lines that mom or dad follow when they're driving on the road. But instead of painted lines, trains have solid steel rails that they balance on. 
these rails are placed at a specific distance apart, just wide enough for the train's wheels to fit snugly and keep the train moving smoothly. Tracks serve more than just as a guide for our train friends. They also provide a smooth and steady surface for the train to glide on. Imagine trying to push a heavy shopping cart through a sandy beach. Pretty hard, right? But on a smooth supermarket floor, it's a breeze. That's just like a train on its tracks. The smoother the surface, the easier it is for the train to move. Now, just like we need to look after our roads, the tracks need to be looked after too. They need to be checked regularly to ensure they're in top condition. If a track is damaged or not aligned properly, it could cause our train to come off its path. That's why there are special track inspection trains that check the tracks regularly to make sure they're safe and sound. So you see, tracks are more than just lines of steel. They are the lifeline of a train, guiding it where it needs to go, providing a smooth surface for it to glide on and keeping it safe from harm. So, the tracks are like the train's special path, guiding it on its journey. So, we know how a train works, but what happens on its journey? Imagine this, a train on a mission, chugging along the tracks, on a grand adventure. Each station it stops at is like a mini destination. People hop on and off, each with their own stories, heading to their own destinations. The train, like a dutiful friend, carries them safely to where they need to go. But how does the train know when to stop and when to move? That's where signals come into play. Just like traffic lights for cars, trains have signals too. They tell the train when it's safe to move and when it needs to stop. Red means stop, yellow means prepare to stop, and green means go. Pretty simple, right? Now you might be wondering, who reads these signals? That's the job of the train driver. The driver, also known as the engineer, is the captain of this steel beast. They keep an eye on the signals and control the speed of the train. They ensure that the train starts and stops at the right times, and that it runs smoothly and safely. It's a big responsibility, but they're well trained for it. Trains can travel really long distances, covering hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles. They can go from bustling cities to quiet countryside, across rivers and through mountains. It's like they're on a never-ending road trip, seeing all the sights the world has to offer. And the best part? Trains can run in any weather. Come rain or shine, snow or hail, the train keeps on moving. The journey might be slower in bad weather, but the train never gives up. It's like a superhero, always there to save the day. So next time you see a train, think about all the places it's been, all the people it's carried, and all the adventures it's had. And remember, every journey it takes is a story waiting to be told. Trains really are amazing, aren't they?